Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we will learn how to find the square root using prime factorization method. For example, if I have to find out the square root of 196, I have to make the prime factors for this number. To make the prime factors of any number, we have to divide the number with the prime numbers. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. So here in this question you can see that 196 is divisible by 2. If I will divide it with 2, I will get 98. Now again, we have to see that 98 is divisible by which prime number? So it is divisible by 2. I will get here 49. Now 49 is divisible by 7. It's not divisible by 2. It's not divisible by 3, not by 5. It is divisible by 7. So we divide 49 with 7. We will get 7. Then again, 7 is divisible by 7. We will get a 1. So we have to see that at the end, you should get a 1. Now, 196 can be written as 2 into 2 into 7 into 7. Whenever we are calculating a square root, we have to make the pairs of the same number. For example, this is one pair of 2. This is one pair of number 7. So if there is a pair of a number, when we remove this square root sign, we will write down the number only once. That means from these two, I will write on one two. From these two sevens, I will write on one seven. So the square root of 196 is 14. Similarly, if I find out what is the square root of 324, we have to find out what are the prime factors of 324. So we will take here 2, we divide 324 with 2, we will get 162, then again we divide with 2, then we will get here 81, then again we divide with the next prime number, since 81 is not divisible by 2, we can divide it with 3, so we divide 81 with 3, we get 27, then again we can divide 27 with 3, we will get 9, again we can divide 9 with 3, we will get 3, 3 if we divide with 3, we will get 1. So that means 324 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. That means we have 3 different pairs. So from each pair, we will write down only the number 1, 2, 3, 3. That means the answer is equals to 18. So the square root of 324 is 18. Similarly, if I have to find out the square root of some bigger number, for example, if I take what is the square root of 17,424. I will find out what are the prime factors for this particular number. So let's find out. Since this number is divisible by 2, so we will first divide it with 2. So when I divide it with 2, we will get 8,712. Similarly, again it is divisible by 2. If I divide this number with 2, I will get 4,356. Now again I can divide it with 2 and I will get it equals to 2178. Again I can divide this number with 2. I will get it equals to 1089. Now 1089 is not divisible by 2 but it is divisible by 3. If I divide it with 3 we will get it equals to 363. Then again, it is divisible by 3. We will get 121. 121 is a perfect square of number 11. That means it is divisible by 11 only. So if I divide this with 11, I will get 11. 11 is divisible by itself. So we will get here 1. So if I have to find out what is the square root of this, I will make the pairs. One pair, second pair, third pair, fourth pair. I will write on 2 from this another 2 from this 3 from this 11 if I have to find out the square root of this number that means the square root of this number would be 2 into 2 into 3 into 11 so when I multiply all these numbers together I will get it equals to 132 
I hope you understand this topic very well from the video. So please do not forget to hit like and subscribe button and also write a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching.